In the last video, we added in this banner. And what I want to do in this video is I want to have it so that my whole page is blends in with this banner. It has the same color. And uh, in order to insert a background color to the whole page, um, well, let's start at an individual element level. So this home button here, if I wanted to make it the same color as my banner here, the, the solid color, not the gradient part, I can right click inside this table division and I can come down to properties. And in this properties bar, I can set a background color. And you can see at the moment, it's set to a value of a very gray value. Um, and now you can use this to try and tune in your color and to find it. Now this could be very time consuming um, to find. And so there is a quicker and easier way to do this. You can go into Photoshop where you created your asset. So I'm gonna, I've got my banner open here in Photoshop. And what you want to do is select the eyedropper tool. You can press E on, uh, I on your keyboard, not E, although it begins with an E. You can press I on your keyboard to select it. Or it's this tool here. Um, it looks a bit like a pipette. If I click on that, this color up here in the right-hand corner will change whenever I click on a color in my image. So if I come down here and left-click on in the top corner here, you can see now that this color at the top has changed to that color. And if I click on uh, the cable here, it will change to that color. Now, in order to get that color and use it in Dreamweaver, what we can do is instead of left-clicking on the color we want, we can right-click. So I'm going to right-click right up here in the corner where the color is strongest. And I've got all of these different options. Now, what I want to do is I want to copy the color's hex code. Okay, so I'm going to right click on the color that I want and I'm going to press copy color's hex code. And that will copy that little hash and those numbers that we had here. So you can see this, this is a hex code, a little hash followed by some numbers and letters. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of those and I'm going to hold down control and press V to paste in my other code. I'm just going to put a little hash at the front just to tell it that it is a hex code. And now you'll be able to see when I click out of this box, I've now got this button to update with the color of this banner. But I've only done it for this one individual element. If I wanted to do this for the whole page, what I would need to do is in this box here, I'd need to click on page properties. Once in the page properties, I can tell the page what background I want it to be. Now, you can also use a background image. So if you wanted to have a huge image as, your, as the background to your page, then you could make that. But I'm just going to keep it simple and have a color. You can pick your color just like you could in the other one. But we're just going to put in our hex code straight away. So I'm going to type a hash and I'm going to paste in my code. 02A9F7 is the magic number. And if I click away and press OK or apply, if I press apply, this window won't close, but it will do what I told it to do. If I press OK, it will do what I told it to do, and this window will close. So if I press Apply, we can see now that the whole page has been given that color. And if I press OK, I can get rid of that. And I can press X on here and get rid of that. And we can now see that we have a background color for my whole page. So it looks nice and uniform. And so I've kind of managed to blend this banner in. Now, I could think more about the gradient that I've got going on here, because there's a bit of a, a line here. It might be part of your design and that might be fine. You might want to think about you know, how your banner image is bleeding into the rest of the page. But I've now managed to sample a color and use it in my Dreamweaver background.